Hi, it's Tish Hawken here. I'm a mindset and life coach and welcome to my short and sweet video series, episode number five. Now I help professionals to overcome mindset and or emotional difficulties that are affecting their lives, businesses and careers. And the meaning of this short and sweet video series is so that you can help yourself if you're struggling with mindset and or emotional difficulties. This is meant to give you help, advice and guidance on how to do that in under 10 minutes. And so this week's topic is how to um, improve your confidence when you're facing a real challenge that is filling you with fear. And so a wise woman once said that confidence is not will they like me, it's I'm fine if they don't. And most of the time we find that when, we're, um, when we've lost confidence, maybe we had confidence and we've lost confidence, it's normally because we're worrying about either our ability to do something or what people may think of us for the behaviours or actions that we're going to take. Now, I have a question for you. What are you facing right now that means you're going to have to take a big leap in confidence? It could be that you need to do a presentation, uh, maybe a video like this, or maybe you need to stand up in front of an audience um, in a live setting. Um, it could be that you have to ha have a difficult conversation with somebody, a conversation that you're absolutely dreading and you know it's going to take confidence to do so. Um, whatever the situation that you're facing, um, you can overcome that fear and move forward um, in confidence. Um, fear is one of the opposites of confidence and so we need to be able to face that fear, face it head on and be able to move forward. So you can do that if you remember these nine things that I'm going to lay out now. The first thing is that the very thing that is challenging you right now, the very thing that means you need to find some confidence, find some grit, um, means that's an area of growth that you need to look at. So it's there for a reason. It's challenging you because you need to be able to grow um, in that area. So remember that. Remember point number two, which is think about the choices you've got. So think about the paths of the outcomes of um, either taking the path of um, leaping, taking a leap of faith and having confidence and doing the very thing that you need to do um, or not doing it and think of those two paths and what are the outcomes of those two paths, the outcome of not doing it and the outcome of doing it, what are the consequences and what are the benefits and weigh them up and you'll probably see that the outcome of doing it far outweighs the outcome of not doing it. Number three, remember how will you feel once you have achieved whatever it is you're trying to achieve with the confidence that you need to get? And so really sit down and think and imagine how am I going to feel once I have done this certain thing? Number four, um, fear is our friend. Remember that we, we'll never, ever get rid of fear in our lives ever. Um, I don't think there's anybody who's completely fearless. And if, if there is, please show them to me. <laughs> um, but remember that fear is your friend. And you can acknowledge it and acknowledge that it's there to keep you safe. But more often than, than not, it's not needed. The fear isn't needed. And so you can tell it. You can tell it that you can say, thank you for showing up and trying to keep me safe. But I really don't need you right now. Um, and you can say that in your head. Um, number five, remember back to uh, a time when you were a child and you were trying to um, overcome something and you had no confidence. So it could be that you were learning to swim. Now, I remember when I was learning to swim and I was five years old and my father was teaching me and I was absolutely petrified. But I remember when I finally got it, when I finally did take my feet off the floor and, you know, swam frantically that I actually swam I felt amazing because I knew I could do it so remember back to a time when you felt like that before and when you've overcome it number six how will this thing that you're trying to do improve your life forever how will it improve your life forever if it's something to do with a relationship maybe you need to break off a relationship or you need to um, maybe 
get together with somebody that you know you really want to get together with um, how's that going to improve your life if you get together with that person um, if you build confidence in a professional sense and you do that presentation that you're absolutely dreading or maybe you'll do that live Facebook live or LinkedIn live that you're absolutely dreading how is that going to improve your life forever well it's going to improve your life because you're going to know you can do it and therefore you will do it again and things may improve for you in business as well number seven is people will judge now i'm not going to stand here and say don't worry about what people think or what people say um, because you know you don't need to worry about that people do judge because it's in our nature to judge even those of us who don't want to judge automatically make a judgment and it's very difficult not to but the secret is um not letting people's judgments if they verbalize it affect you too much but also um sometimes we think that people will say certain things about us will talk about us if if we step out in faith and we're brave and we're bold but actually that's just all in our minds and so it's your life um and even if people have got an opinion well you know they'll have an opinion for five seconds and then they'll go on and think about something else in their lives so you've only got one life you know you live it the way that you want to do you be as bold and as brave as you want to be and don't be influenced by what you think people are thinking or by what you think people are saying because it's highly likely they're not actually thinking those things and you may find that when you step out in confidence they actually admire you for it they may just not verbalize it number eight again it's your life live it just be brave be bold find that courage whatever it is you're trying to step out in faith into and get comfortable number nine is get comfortable with being uncomfortable because there are always going to be times when we're feeling uncomfortable in life and that is life challenges challenging us to grow so get comfy with being uncomfortable I'm going to give you three action steps as well. So action step number one is prepare, prepare, prepare. So if it is a video like this that you've never done and you'd like to do it, prepare. Prepare what you're going to say, prepare the lighting, prepare what you're going to wear, prepare how you're going to speak. And if it's a conversation, you can maybe role play with somebody that conversation or you could do it in the mirror. Preparation is absolute key for building confidence. Um, practice, practice, practice is action step number two. So practice as much as you can if you feel you need to. And action step number three is if you get to doing that thing that you're really scared of and you're you're faced with it in the here and now and you find yourself really storing, stalling then i'm sure you've heard of the five four three two one method just count down to five four three two one and just go just as if you were diving off a diving board and you know you've got to do it or maybe jumping out of a plane five four three two one go just do it so are you ready to face your fears and to step out in confidence with whatever challenge it is you're facing, either in your personal life or in your business or career? And um, if you are ready and you're going to do it or you do do it, please let me know. I'd love to hear the results and the outcome of that. So thank you for listening to my short and sweet number five video series. I wish you a good day. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the little notification bell as well. Anybody else who'd like to get in touch with me, you, you can by direct messaging me or go to tishhawkin.com. Take care, everybody.